These are five cut page hacks that are going to improve and massively speed up your workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, number one is the most effective and the most simple way to speed up your workflow. If I go up here to the top left, open up my keyboard customization, this is where I can customize my whole keyboard for my shortcuts. So you can download my keyboard customization preset in the link below. I'll have some details in there of the shortcuts. Number two is the source tape view. So if I select this button here, this is source tape. Basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna give me a preview of every single piece of imported media. So this is a really great way to get a high level view of your project. If you wanna get through the footage fast, get some ideas going. In the source tape view, you can also press fast review. DaVinci will play back your media in a faster speed depending on the length of the clip. So the longer pieces of media will be played faster and the shorter pieces of media will be played slower. Number three is your timeline resolution. This is a super fast way to change the aspect ratio of your clips going from landscape to vertical. Two clicks of a button, you can go from landscape to vertical. And that leads us into number four, which is smart reframe. You can see after resizing the clip that we've actually cut off half of the model and we've lost like the main part of the footage. Smart reframe with one click of a button It'll analyze the footage and decide what's the main part of the footage and then put that in the center of the frame. Two clicks of a button, you can go from landscape to vertical and then have all your footage reframed. And the best thing about it is DaVinci will put in automatic key points. So as the camera moves in the footage, it will make sure that the subject will stay in the center. Number five is AI voice isolation. So this is really good when you've got a lot of background noise, ambient noise, maybe you didn't have a microphone and what DaVinci is gonna do is it's gonna analyze the audio of the clip and isolate the voice in that piece of footage. So I've got an example here. I was outside, it was really windy and we're gonna have a before and after to see how well DaVinci recovers the audio. So let's have a listen. Yeah, there's no microphone plugged in. I'm just recording the audio straight to the phone and we're going to try and fix the audio in DaVinci Resolve with the AI function. So you can hear like, I can hear like cars driving by. There's like drills in the background. It's a little bit windy and we're outside. Okay, so you can hear that that footage was, there was a lot of background noise. It was windy, it was rainy, there was cars going by. Now we can select AI voice isolation. I like to set it at around 80 or 90. So let's just put it 90. Alfie's in the back. <laughs> and yeah, there's no microphone plugged in. I'm just recording the audio straight to the phone. And we're going to try and fix the audio in DaVinci Resolve with the AI function. So you can hear like, I can hear like cars driving by. There's like drills in the background. It's a little bit windy and um, we're outside. So you can see how well DaVinci's done there with AI voice isolation. It's taken out all the background noise. It's isolated the voice and it's much clearer. So we can actually, you know, hear the audio and the voice much better after the voice isolation. So hopefully that was useful and you can start implementing these five tips into your workflow for better quality work and seriously improving the speed of your workflow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.